Hi. Um, first of all, let me apologise for the quality of the film on this introduction. I did film the rest of the video on my HD camera, but it ran out of batteries before I got to do the introduction, so I'm having to do it on my webcam. Apologies. The rest of the video will be good quality. Um, I did this video because other than questions about my hair and comments about my hair, people comment about my skin, and some people have asked... Um, what I do with my skin to make it look the way it does and what my makeup routine is so I thought I would do a video showing you that uh, it's not a makeup tutorial because I'm pretty rubbish generally at applying makeup and I'm pretty ill-equipped in terms of tools and stuff which makes my video sound rubbish <laughs> not very good but um, yeah people have asked so here it is I hope you enjoy it my skin um, tends to be quite dry so moisturisation is really important and at the moment I'm using Eucerin Replenishing um, Face Cream. This formula is quite light and sheer. I can't 100% re recommend it for um, oily or combination skin but I'm guessing it would be okay. It does tend to sink into the skin very quickly. I put it on about 30 minutes before my makeup in the morning. I'm getting on really well with this, it's lovely. So I'll always moisturise with this first. I have a condition, I don't really want to call it a condition, but a skin thing I guess, um, called KP, which is characterised by rough, dry, bumpy skin, sometimes red skin on the arms, legs, sometimes both, sometimes other parts of your body. Mine also manifests in my face, and as a teenager I had very, very high colouration on my cheeks and chin, um, extremely. It was very um, in contrast to my very pale forehead and nose area, so it, very distinct marks here here and on my chin. As I've come out of my teenage years and some, um, the coloration has decreased. I used to feel the need to cover up with green primers and powders because green is the opposite to red on the colour wheel and therefore blanks it out. Now as the colour has, has toned down I'm able to work with it and give a sheer covering as opposed to full coverage trying to cover up the redness. Cannot match, there is no foundation that is this pink and any kind of skin tone foundation over the top of it is very visible and I hate seeing face makeup it just looks horrible to me so I'm trying to work with it and have a sheer covering um, I have used in the past BB creams I went for this Maybelline BB cream until I realized it wasn't actually a real BB cream just but just a tinted moisturizer and um, now I've bought a Smashbox Halo light hydrating perfecting powder this is a mineral powder. Uh, this is a sample from eBay, so I wanted to try it out first. Um, and I find this is working really nicely, giving me a nice sheer covering. You'll see just how sheer, it's not that much of a difference. Um, it's very light reflecting and doesn't show up on my skin too much. So this is why this is not a tutorial and it's just showing you how I do my makeup. This is my cheap, cheap ass makeup brush that I apply my makeup with. I did have a kabuki brush but it's gone missing as have most of the things in my life seemingly. Okay so I just again no expert on application I'm just putting it on. I'll then use Maybelline medium beige cover stick concealer to just cover up the hyperpigmentation I have on my forehead, some redness around my nostrils and anywhere else I can see that's looking a bit red and blotchy. This is actually a really heavy coverage um, so I put it on very very sparingly and try and blend it in so you can't see it sitting on top of my skin. I wish I knew the trick to layering on makeup and having it look natural but I just can't get it so um, I'm putting this on really sparingly just doing as little as I can to cover up any blemishes. Okay, so now that's done. Um, this is one product that I can highly recommend. This is the product that I think people are seeing when they say my skin looks glowing and fresh. It is Benefit High Beam Highlighter. I just apply um, a very tiny, tiny amount to the tops of where my cheekbones should be, if I had any cheekbones. And then dab it in. Again, I don't know if this is the correct application, but it seems to work for me. I just try and dab it in around under my eye and up to my temple. 
I've not drunk enough water yesterday, so my wrinkles are terrible. It's really, really a really subtle difference, but it makes a difference, which I love. Sometimes if I'm feeling particularly flat-faced, I will want to attempt to give myself some form of cheekbone. And I will do this by using Guerlain, Guerlain, I don't know how to say it, sun and blush. Arr, there's a baby playing with my lights! Get off! Get off! <laughs> And just ever such a little bit because of the high coloration I don't need to particularly put any more color on my face um, just a tiny bit might make a difference might not not sure so not an expert but you know some people did ask so that's it that's how I achieve this makeup look I hope it's helped you. I definitely recommend High Beam from Benefit. I recommend Smashbox Halo Perfecting Mineral Powder. Saboteur, you are. You are. Video sabotage. <laughs> Stanley.